Bible of Israel were, now I can't remember what the first two were, but the third one was Richard Goldstone. Canadian human rights expert William Shabas has resigned as chairperson of the UN's Commission of Inquiry on the 2014 Gaza conflict. This is after Israeli officials accused him of bias. Shabas was appointed to the three-person commission in August of last year to investigate whether any war crimes were committed during the 50-day-long Israel-Gaza conflict. According to the UN, almost 2,200 Palestinians and 70 Israelis died in the fighting. Both sides are being investigated for accusations of war crimes and killing civilians. Yeah. Palestinian militant group Hamas for killing civilians with rocket fire the IDF for killing civilians with artillery and airstrikes. The Israel Defense Forces has accused Hamas of both inflating the number of Palestinian civilian casualties and causing civilian deaths themselves by using them as cover. An Israeli official asked the United Nations to dismiss Shabas on January 30th, citing an incontrovertibly blatant conflict of interest. He referenced consultancy work Shabas did for the Palestinian Liberation Organization in 2012. Shabas acknowledged the work in his resignation letter Tuesday, but dismissed any conflict of interest. Still, he says he resigned, so Israel's claims of bias wouldn't overshadow the commission's work. Israel's current government isn't exactly a fan of Shabas, and that feeling appears mutual based on comments like this one in 2010. Frankly, if I had to um, think of the, an individual who would be the greatest threat to the survival of Israel, um, I'd probably choose Netanyahu. Prime Minister Netanyahu welcomed the Shabas news and went a step further, calling the UN Human Rights Council an anti-Israel body and saying the Gaza report should be shelved. The commission says it's currently in discussions with the remaining two members, Dudu Dien of Senegal and Amal Alamuddin of the United Kingdom, to figure out who will replace Shabas. The full report is scheduled for release on March 23rd. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.